This is Soccer Weekly. I am Dave Denholm here. 710 ESPN. Obviously, LAFC loaded with South American talent. They are missing several players due to international duty, right? South America is doing their Columbia Bowl U23 Olympic tournament. It's a little bit of an odd preseason because we've got so many guys that aren't here right now. But we can't complain about that. That's a sign of good things. And as we get closer, we're going to do everything we can to be prepared and make a good run. It doesn't come at an ideal time, but that's not an excuse for us. We are always supportive of our players pursuing their international ambition. So there, there was some need to call up some players from the academy, which is very intriguing. Certainly not ideal, but not an excuse. And we'll be, I, I have no doubt that that Bob and these coaches and, and everybody will have us all raring to go come lay on. Early part of preseason when we're missing players certainly uh, is a good time to, to bring some of the young guys that we think are doing well around. Since preseason camp started, we wake up at 5.45, get ready, and then eat breakfast. No, he says, I have a friend, and, and he would be gone and he would you know, be over there with the players on my team. Yeah. They never say anything. These boys all want it. They, they, they understand that there's going to be sacrifice, but for them, it's what they want to be. So to be able to have the opportunity, it was a no hesitation answer for them to be able to come into preseason and pursue their dream. I was very excited, had the biggest smile on my face. I felt like it was one step closer to reaching my goal. I feel like soccer is extremely important to me and it's gonna be a journey that is gonna take a lot of responsibility and hard work. When you consider that, that most of them are 04s, right? And then I think one of the boys today is an 05. So this is experience for them, but that doesn't make them quite ready. But we continue to try to see if we can find ways to get them into training on the right days early part of preseason when we're missing players. Certainly uh, is a good time to, to bring some of the young guys that we think are doing well around. What was a disadvantage for the first team uh, become an advantage for us, just yes, because it was allowing us to, to introduce six players from the academy to join the first team in their first, uh, first two weeks. You know, the goal is for them to, to get that standard uh, set for them on the, on the daily with what they're training with us and when they're playing in their academy games, um, but to be able to also now build on that and bring it back and get asked back again. We've been discussing the players at length over the last couple of months getting to this point, but the choice was, you know, based on quality. I think the, um, the staff was looking for guys that could step in and play at this level. Of course, position's important. We do have some attacking guys, some midfielders, and some defenders, but it was really based on quality. Guys we thought that, you know, were technically ready, had a good mindset. These are six of our top guys. So we felt they were ready also, but it was nice to know the endorsement came from the first team staff. These were the six that they wanted. 
We know from the beginning when since they joined uh, LAFC Academy that they have a dream. The dream is to become a, an LAFC player one day and they need to know and to understand that it's not going to be easy for them. Okay, As much as they are in the right uh, track, they are in the right process, they will need to continue working and they need to understand that they have a lot to, to learn and a lot to, to experience and this uh, opportunity for all is going to be helping them uh, to understand that it's not going to be easy for them. Excited to be here and a uh, little bit nervous. How did they perform today? How did you? How a little did bit you? nervous. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excited to be here, so I'll give it a little more time. It's a great opportunity for some of these young guys, and you see them in the locker room and in the meal room. They kind of go in packs. Uh, they don't really want to leave each other's side, but when you get them out in the field, um, you can kind of uh, speak to them individually. Uh, because you're kind of rubbing shoulders with them and yeah it's fun to have them out there and, and try to um, give them like I said a little bit of knowledge that you picked up throughout the years and, and they're doing great. On the first day I was I was nervous I was panicking and on the field I didn't know what to do and now my confidence has developed a little by little and I'm confident myself to play with the first team. The biggest thing I've been able to gain from this experience the last two weeks has definitely been the feedback from the coaches. I'm going to take that back to my team and hopefully do some good with it. It's always been like a dream and a goal to obviously train with the first team and now to be training with some of my teammates and, and now to be with like the first team and train with them as well and being together in this journey, it's extremely exciting. To be honest, we are really impressed with the way that the academy players are, are doing and uh, here at the, at the first team training. They are showing some of the training concepts that we are trying to introduce to the academy and are the, the similar to the first team uh, principles and ideas. And it is what probably the, the, the players at the academy will need to understand, no? that what we are doing at the academy is just to help them to be ready for the challenge that they will have when they will join the, the, the first team. One of my favorite moments training in the preseason with the first team is get to get some touches in with Carlos Vela because no one gets the opportunity to touch the ball with him and I had the opportunity. Lo primero son unos grandes chicos muy educados que vienen con muchas ganas de aprender, de exigirse cada día y para mí que pasé por ese por esa etapa siempre es importante intentar ayudarlos, intentar sentir hacerlos sentir cómodos y que conforme van pasando los días ellos se vayan sintiendo mejor y obviamente poderles enseñar lo máximo posible para que en un futuro ellos sean los que los que representen a este club y, y puedan llegar con las armas suficientes para ser grandes jugadores. I never imagined to be here. And now, in this day, I'm training with the first team in the preseason. It means a lot to me. I just keep fighting and fighting until I could play at the bank with the first team. I can definitely envision a day playing with the first team at the Bank of California Stadium. I feel it would be the biggest next step in my career. One of my goals was to train with the first team, which I've accomplished that now. And now my goal is to become a professional soccer player and one day uh, make a debut for LAFC. The 2020 MLS Media Marketing Tour has come here for the first time, Bank of California Stadium. Players, coaches, journalists from all over the league. It's a great place for the entire league to come together, catch up with players, and we're here to do the same. I feel so happy, you know, for me to come to the media day. Uh, this is my first time too, like, you know, it's amazing, you know. I feel so great, like, I'm a part of this thing. I feel so happy, yeah. When I hear it's like Bank of California, I feel so great, you know. This is our home, you know, so I feel like I'm home. Parte favorita es las fotos. Las fotos, conocer gente, y Eh, la experiencia está muy bonita. Me siento muy bien de presentar a LAC.
It's go time for sure. It's the best time of the year because we come back from being off for like a month and then now we just have a lot of football. So yeah, we're happy. It's an honor to be here, obviously. Just trying to make the best of it. This year is here with LAFC, which we call Peñarol Norte because of Diego Rossi scoring the first goal ever for LAFC coming from Peñarol. Brian Rodriguez, the newest, the best, the lightning here in LAFC Stadium, Bank of California, our home for the 3252. Today we are Peñarol, our home. Salí de ahí, creo que, que marcó, marcó algo en mi vida, porque de chico empecé ahí. Creo que, que grande, muy grande, que ha, ganado, ha ganado muchos títulos. Tanto Libertadores como Quinqueños, eh, Mundiales. Pero sí, es grande en Uruguay y grande en el mundo. Ha sido más que nada raro, raro porque como algo que era como un déjà vu, creo que algo que vivimos o, o sensaciones raras, porque no, no, nunca imaginé, pero, pero bueno, hoy estamos, estamos defendiendo otra remera y creo que, que nada, dejar todo con esta, con esta camiseta, dejar emociones de lado, pero, pero bien. It's still early in preseason, but in our way of working, we would want to see that the, the ideas, the reactions, the speed of play, the football is, is, is all there, so it's a way to sort of assess the first part of preseason and see where we are in all categories. LAFC back at Bank of California Stadium, the place buzzing as they open the 2020 account for this preseason friendly against Uruguay Giants, Peñarol the club that sold them, Diego Rossi and Brian Rodriguez. We're ready to go. And LAC pushing here into the final third, Carlos Vela. That gets off to Latif Blessing. Blessing now setting the table for Vela. Vela fires off, classic Carlitos. Vela off and running in 2020. Peñarol free kick, it's over the wall, and Kenneth Vermeer able to parry it away. LAFC, corner kick, looking for number two, it's off that near post, and Adrian Perez has tapped it in. The LA Kid with the goal to make it two zip for LAFC. This is unbelievable, it's what football should be. Now a significant moment. Eric Duenas, Christian Torres will be the first members of that LAFC Academy to take the field alongside the first team in this friendly. What a moment. Es el primer paso para poder llegar a ser profesionales o poder estar en el primer equipo. Y creo que ellos hicieron un gran, un gran esfuerzo, hicieron un buen partido. Obviamente me imagino que con ciertos nervios, porque a todos nos ha pasado. A mí me pasó cuando empecé a jugar en ya campos profesionales contra gente 
de mayor edad, mayor físico y siempre, siempre sientes ahí el hormigueo antes de jugar, pero creo que ellos lo, lo llevaron muy bien, demostraron que, que en poco ya van a estar preparados y hasta tenemos que cuidarnos los demás porque si nos descuidamos ahí van a querer quitarnos el lugar, pero, pero crees, creo que es algo bueno para el club y para uno como jugador que siempre venga gente joven con ganas de de aportar y de, de luchar por un lugar. Full time from Bank of California Stadium and evening. The Academy kids will not forget. LAFC victorious 2-0 over Peñarol in front of an electrifying audience here at the bank. Yeah, it was a good night. I thought the guys handled the game well. Uh, obviously, Peñarol is a special club and we have an excellent relationship and to uh, bring them here. Um, we were just excited that they could come and that obviously they could play us in Bank of California. With young guys, it's not so much that they show leadership tonight, it's that they show some personality. They show they're not afraid. And I think almost all of them stepped on the field and you could see that. And, and so That's the most important thing with young players. You challenge them that when they step on the field, that they try to make the plays, that they react, that they never back down to any situation, and that they're smart, and then you can see their personality come through.